Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another H Pirates 4 replay. Spawn on the right side as the green Abyssin didn't see with smooth operator. Spawn bottom left side as the blue Byzantians with Recon with a capital N. There is a decent number of berries on this map, so it's going to be quite useful for the Abyssin player to, as well as Byzantine player for the berry collection. When it comes to other things, Blue does have two small gold deposits right in front of him. A bit of stone, of course, it's a natural stone. Or it's relatively close by to, to here and to golden large stones. So this is a great expansion location up here. And more the center, we got more berries. So that's another good point of contention to get that olive oil. Or next to some gold. Of course, the absent player can't collect the, the boar since it is pork. Also, wisdom not going on up. The four deer deposits are way up here, but next to some gold and some berries and a little bit of stone. Let's take a look at the mercenaries. We could see mercenary Megadi for the Byzantium player, and down south we could see a uh, mercenary Royal Knights. <clears throat> now the culture wing now being employed on the field. That will, of course, he looks like maybe I'm for our fast uh, castle, I'm guessing, because that can reduce the age of cost by 20%, as well as the advancement. Uh, nope, no advancement time, just the cost. The advancement time comes from the 30 tier structures in tier 2. Grand winery now being employed on the field, next to the berries, of course. So the system's not in a great spot, so you can't deploy out a large number of olive groves. <coughs> Maybe it would have been better off with the Grand Winery over here. Canceling a... or deleting a house is always perfectly fine. They're cheap. Oh, those are the Byzantine player also pulls out flex of exact amount of gold for his age of. There is age of for the uh, Avacid player. We'll only get the preservation knowledge research. Golden Age Tier 1 now upon the field as well. He really pushed it out. After all, the Golden Age Tier 1 is one of the most powerful economic benefits in the entire game. The advancement of knowledge is now being researched, which reduced the age of time by 20%. Blue does have a second scout on the field. Now his age of time is... A, let's just round up 1,500. <clears throat> he almost has enough gold. He needs a bit more food in order to age up. Secondary towns are being pulled up by the Byzantium player. Designed for numbers. Another olive grove being pulled out here. No mercenary house to pull on the field as well. There's a mercenary house. I wonder what he will go for. Absent dynasty course can pull out camels, so maybe not a good idea to go for eastern for the Keshiks. Western? Maybe not. Lands connects are nice and all, and longbow nice. I don't know. Nothing seems like screams screams out to me super good against Abbasids because Abbasids they're mostly economic faction. They don't rely on heavy uh, unique units. Granite Gilams are very good, especially with the uh, boot camp where you start getting much more he health. Rotating wings almost complete, which will give him two camel riders. This one is going for Keshik, so he does. Whoops, sorry, I hit my microphone. That's going for Eastern Mercer Contract, and now those camera riders who get upon aging up will be very useful dealing with the Keshiks. Two free camel riders, I'm now chasing down the scout. Camera riders do offer good damage versus cavalry, they do offer quite a bit of health as well. Abyssin units are quite healthy. Gilams have extra health, the cameras have extra health. And with boot camp, you can also get more extra health. Additionally, you can have access to very good bowmen as well through the composite bows. Let's try and clean up these berries. 
he may want an eye for our keep in this area as well. Try and keep out here. Can help him just control the flow. He does get an aim on the build cube. The Lancer is now being pulled on out. This one does have some limit handy to pull on the field. But Amazon Archers are pretty good as well in the composite bow to get increased attack speed. Scout takes some hits there. The thing about as well is with Camel Riders, their health, they have a lot more health than a Knight or a Lancer. But they also are not classified as heavy either. They don't have any armor, of course, not until they get their research. But it means that, our, that crossbows won't counter camels. That was Camel Riders. Keshix do get a couple of charges hit there. Catch us in the corner, try to stop the Lancers. He may trap one. No, he does not. Wolf getting in the way. And let's see, these Lancers are just going to give his opponent a run around, just drawing quite a bit of aggression. Over here, do now have the Lancers charge before. Find some Loon Tanny. Lancer is taking a bit of damage there. Did kill off a couple of villagers. He's going to be fighting against a villager deficit relatively soon. And next age, he could either go for the economic wing or the trade wing. In which both have their good possibilities. Since trade wing, having some traders are some of the best, are the best traders in the game. And the economic wing will, of course, improve his already good economics. That scout will likely go down next slice. Lancers will not be able to engage the villagers. Lancers heading back on home. They have taken severe damage, at least that pair. This pair has taken some damage. We got more Lancers here and the Camel Rider. And that single Camel Rider will provide quite a bit of damage to debuff to these Keshex. Scout down. Not a big surprise. Now we've got the Imam here. The Imam may just want to stick around these forces to get them peeled on up. Starting to torch down the mill. So far, Green has claimed one relic and picked up another. Has a number of archers here. No composite bow, nor even the veteran archer research. The veteran archer research is on the way. Composite bows have not been researched. He may be pretty close to Golden Age tier 2. Nope, nowhere near. Avacid Traders, they are... They do cost 30... Uh, 33% less than regular Traders. And additionally with the Grand Bazaar, they can improve their resource drop-off by 25%. And another 30% here, giving a grand total of 55% in more effectiveness to standard Traders. As well being two thirds the cost. One horn tower now being researched or deployed. Lance is charging way forward. That may this may not be enough limit handy. Archer starting gauge. Still no composite bow, nor any blacksmith research. <clears throat> We do now have a Magadel now being employed in the field. Golden Horn Tower now complete. <clears throat> or torch down the outpost. The outpost has no weapon emplacement, just health. Those solids put a bit. Do not composite bone and plus one range damage as well. 
Back now on our corner feet as well. As didn't see, do have a free improved siege engineers. Another outpost being put on off here. He does have a number of olive groves here for the Grand Winer to inspire, improve. At these forces, the number of lancers are quite wounded. Maganel looks like I'm for a barrage onto the olive grove. But a better way to destroy an olive grove by throwing a bunch of stones at it. Does not set a blaze there. Next shot, if he hits, if he actually does a force fire ground, he could have five splash two of them. Archers do take a bit of damage here. These three filters could easily go on down. Does not get that last village up there. They do not have textiles, so they don't have extra health. Textiles on the way now for the Byzantine player. Outpost does go down there. Brings Archers way forward. Both of them have similar military unit sizes. Got more crossbows from put by the absent player. Push forward to archers. This side plays out one row. It has some camel lancers, so makes way forward. Archers engaging. At this one time, he probably may want to fall back, get a battering ram up and going. Archers now engaging. Aqueducts do not inhibit movement. So some aqueduct ducks are getting splashed a little bit by the Maganel. Lance is trying to fall back. We now we've got another Camel Lance, or one of the original Camel Lancers. By a powerful debuff against all the nearby cavalry. Or just being existing. Archers engaging. I will say maybe it's being direct by some of the Gilom's opponents going on now. Another farm has been set in blaze. Some Gilom's are going down there. More of the Olicroves going down. Does hit the Maganel. He's now starting to start a step away. Another other grove being queued on up, replacing some of the destroyed ones. Got a round of Palisade walls have been put up by the Byzantium player as well. I'm collecting berries over here as well. Got a cistern here. Improving collection. For sure, your town center not being pulled up by the Abbasid player, so he will start quickly catching up on village account. His opponent does have two town centers. But from the catch on up, it will roughly take, what, every village is 20 seconds, right? It will approximately take him. <clears throat> He's down by. Let's go by an even 30 for mathematics. Take, you can build three villagers every minute. So. 10 minutes, so uh, behind? Perhaps. My math must be most likely is incorrect. Take a sight now being captured on up. We do now have uh, range armor research. Wolf getting some bites there. He does need another mill over here. You may not realize that he does not have a mill there. He may have, may have been interrupted by one of the deer. Two six sites now captured. And, yep. I wonder how long it will take for him to realize it. More villagers sitting over here to collect some deer. Wolf gains some bites on these lancers. 
Byzantine player is going for more key lumps with olive oil. Or maybe just getting rid of He's only going for Kashyyyk's or Gilam's. Let's be sure. The Golden Horn Tower is currently providing Kashyyyk, so he's going. He is purposely going for some Gilam's. His Gilam's, the Byzantine Gilam's, will be inferior to the Avis of Gilam's because he does not have access to boot camp. Hanging out does roll a miss there. Another Maganel being employed on out. Stone being collected here, just spotted by the border settlement. And looks like all those villagers just collected up fairies, not deer, so he will, at least it's not long distance collection, collecting. Average player does have a bit of gold. Sure, which one he should age up with. If he wants to go for traders, it's definitely good. Go, good to go for the trade wing. The plus fifty percent food gather rate is okay, but it's a plus eight percent resource drop off. It may be better to go for the traders rather than going for the economic wing at the moment. I think the economic wing would offer quite a bit of extra resource uh, gold income, as the offset will provide a little bit of everything, and but mostly just food. Additionally, the extra 35% drop off another resource is probably a good counterpart to the food income. Wolf gained some more bites there. Both sides just massing large armies, 85 for 74. Can't rely on army value and stuff like that because the oil, olive oil units do not get properly calculated in. Range damage not being put up by the Byzantine player. Overall, seems like the Byzantine armor does seem better, but the two Maganels with the Avacy player is very notable. They almost have enough resources to age on up with the culture wing. The age up is cheaper, just needs 2,000 food. All second size is captured by grain, which will give them not only a little bit extra gold, but also start putting some pressure on its opponent. It's not going for more palisade walls. Or to keep here. Trade wing now being researched by the Abyssid player. <clears throat> Doesn't have a whole lot of amount of gold in reserve, so elite research will come a little bit slow. He's trying to go for some spring golds, which actually doesn't really need. Cancel the spring golds. He has plenty of gold and wood. If he's not advancing, he may want to go for more Maganels. Actually, going for a good number of barracks. Let's take out a villager. Born Engineer Company is not being pulled up by the Byzantine player. Because new villagers may get deployed at the relatively same time, same time as the Trade Wing. Before Engineer Company, his uh, Keshex will get a Step Lancer upgrade. And I think maybe improve Step Lancer as well, so these guys will have a lot higher attack speed. <laughs> Additionally, he'll have access to the uh, held uh, elephants, power elephants, from once he uh, upgrades his mercenaries. 
which could be very important since the Howdah Elephants have really good range armor, so they can resist range fire. They're not classified as heavy, so we'll see bonus damage from the crossbows, and they will all, and they will be mounted crossbows, so they do bonus damage versus this opponent's uh, Gilons. I think the uh, Howdah Elephants are going to be very important. Just one for Nessa Bees right now. He does need to get the Elite Mercenary Research in order to get the Howdah Elephants. Magnum placement firing from the keep. Green starting to fall back now. Stone wall is now being pulled in the field. Now got the Exploratorus Research to improve his horseman capability of fighting against uh, villagers. I wonder the effects by the Mercenary Sapahi, which are not available on this map. Those are classified as like a horseman, right? And we do also got the Elite Varanian Guard now being put on the field as well. Exile is now complete. Maganellus, we get some good barrages there. Maganellus plays with a different than regular Maganellus. Got a good number of forces flanking around, trying to hit the siege weapons around the back. He does have elite crossbows. Elite arm attacks is on the way for the absent player. Gilons from charging to Gilons. Keshix not receiving much fire from the crossbows. Aganel is trying to get some shots there. Spring Gulls are forward to engage the Nessa Bees. One does go down. Oh, yeah. Nessa Bees do also have less health. Actually, no, they have the same health as Maganellos. How do the Spring Balls 2 shot the uh, Nessa Bees? I don't only... Shouldn't it take 3 shots? Maybe the recent patch changed that. Green's army is getting annihilated. We lost a good amount of forces there. Horsemen are just engaging, which would be very good for all these crossbows and archers. Grand Guard and Gilan pushing forward with crossbows in tow. He's now going for a Tower Elephant, that may be from the Golden Tower. He does have two Nesta Bees on the field. Let's go, the crossbows are... We'll go down. Do have some Gilon crossbows on the spearmen here. Nothing too significant. Oh, we'll great. Most likely will win this fight. We've now got some Avacyn Dynasty hand cannoneers being pulled on out. Elon's charging the way forward now. Nespies do get a nice little volley. That's that the Gilons will overrun the Nesta Bees. Nesta Bees does go down there. Elite Spearman now being pulled up by the Absid player. He's going to rely on very durable hand cannoneers and Spearman for a front line. The Raiding Guard and Gilons will do just fine. Outpost, spotting outpost will go down there. Good spot for it. Race on the whole line. He's starting to get a critical number of hand cannoneers. Once those good number of crossbows. Good number 
cultures here are very exposed. They may go down. They're trying to get into the outpost. He has lost a good number of them there. And Cannoneers and Crossbows trying to engage some spear on the front line. He got a couple of just holding back the Brandon Garden horsemen. They still constantly building some more of the Elons and Spearmen, so. More horsemen being put up with the absent player. One of them does get spear braced. The other horsemen will like to go down. They're streaming in one at a time. Nesby is firing away. Our elephant charges his way forward. Does have extra health. Right now does also have 14 range armor. So even crossbows would do minimal damage to him. The crossbows do also offer good damage. Another tower elephant on the build queue, as well as nest the bees. And elephant will provide good fire support against the various elons. It's like blue is trying to collect this gold, and we got traders here not being intercepted by that uh, keep. The absent player tried to go for more trade, but was being, is now being denied. He has gone for a trade wing, has gotten on the trade wing research. We go for this trade post down here now. Now Blue's going for a big round of walls, realizing that, hey, that uh, trade might as well stop entirely. Or has been aggravated, and the bees Cracked the Hincaneers doing some good damage there. And Green does back the game now. That's Anne Grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.